Hi there, sons of Libra. Look, I don't know what happened to your reading yesterday. It was uploading when I went to sleep last night, and then I woke up, and it just did not upload. So I'm really sorry. You were supposed to get your reading along with everybody else yesterday. Um, so I'm going to do kind of like a special reading for you. Maybe it'll be a little longer than what I normally do uh, for you, Libra, just to make it up for you. Let's see. Let's start. Let's start with the angel number. I'm feeling kind of drawn to the modern goddess deck. I, in fact, I think these two people, I shouldn't say it if I don't know it, but I think that they make the same. Like, I think this is part of that modern goddess deck, modern witch tarot deck, modern love tarot. Yeah. Pretty sure that they all have something to do. That's why they all have that. The shiny on the outside. So, Libra, you can join me as I connect to Divine White Light. I like to imagine that it's going up to source and coming back down the chakra centers. I like to ground that energy, okay, through the earth, through the core, and then back up. And that's kind of how I like to imagine connecting with your energy. If you do that with me, you and I will both be connected in that quantum way. So, ooh, 666, wake up call. Wake up call, time for you to look at your surroundings and say, hey, is this what I want? Because this is what I manifested and if it's not what you want, then say, okay, let's change the thoughts. Let's change our thinking. It's gotta be the thinking, it's got to be the thinking. 666, a wake up call for you to re-examine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency. And it says, I am centered. So keep centered. Keep centered. That's going to be really important. 31, I am disciplined is going to be important to take on that um, King of Swords energy, disciplined, in control. Um, yeah, knows what they want. And, you know, kind of doing things by the book for now just to, um, you know, avoid any kind of entropy. At the moment, at least, there's ways to go about changing things. So, I am disciplined. I am disciplined. 31. All right. Modern Goddess deck. For Libra. Let's see what we got for Libra. From the Modern Goddess deck. For Libra. And of course, it, it can be next 48 hours, but this is going to be kind of a special reading, a little bit longer. Um, but uh, take it and apply it to what you want to apply it to. And make this, you can make any of these readings, whatever length you want it to be. As far as like, what's it for? 48 hours, month, whatever. Quan Yin. Quan Yin. Yin. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't remember that one. I, I think I've only gotten this one once before. That's probably why. Quan Yin. Compassion. Oh, nice. High form of love. Um, if you're able to have compassion, that's a very, that's a nice quality. Um, really nice quality. Symbol is the dragon, the vase of healing waters, doves, and pearls. I speak compassionately about myself and others. I was talking about compassion the other day. It's about saying that that's pretty much more valuable than its weight in gold. Um, your ability to carry this uh, compassion. Compassion to me is like seeing the, feeling that true intention of somebody's heart. You know, when they're able to have compassion... It's like you can't really hide it when somebody has compassion. Um, just like similarly, if you don't have compassion, like you can kind of feel that energy off of someone um, of judgy stuff, right? So Quan Yin is the Chinese Buddhist um, of compassion, loving kindness, and mercy. Mercy, <laughs> mercy. As a mortal, she achieved enlightenment. And before entering Nirvana, though, 
She heard the cries of the suffering on earth and vowed not to leave until all humans can release the shackles of misery and reach enlightenment. She carries a vase that contains the dew of compassion, which she uses to heal those in physical pain or seeking spiritual peace. She is the omnipresent mother and extends her unconditional love to all beings, teaching others to do the same. So there may be something with your thoughts. If your thoughts, you know, if you're being judgmental, either by yourself or somebody else, not having compassion for their, I don't know, you know what I mean? There's something about compassion and trying to see it from a bigger perspective. Trying to see something from a bigger perspective. All right, let's go into the tarot. And let's see, oh, what do we get for Libra? Oh, goodness, really? Three of swords in the reverse coming out? Well, that's actually really good. I would like that card to come out for you. Um, I'll say that's probably your situation. Uh, because it's the releasing. And when you can get to releasing the hurt, the anger, the resentment, all of that, you release these negative or heavy emotions, then you can make room for the things that you really want. So making room for the things that you really want to experience. The challenge, the Empress energy. So maybe maybe somebody's mother, I mean, that, that might be a challenge, somebody like a mother-in-law or something. Um, hmm. Or this is just you stepping into this really nice, fertile energy of, of being able to create whatever it is that you want. So somebody hurt us. I don't know if it was this mother figure or or what, but it's the challenge. And there might have been a third party situation with the three of swords here, but it's in the reverse. Like I said, so this is something that's happened in the past. This is something that's already happened before. Seven of swords. Yeah. Seven of swords in the reverse is somebody got found out. Sneaking around, sneaking around. Somebody got found out sneaking around. Pretty much. Lying, cheating, stealing, something like that. It caused heart. It caused pain. It caused, um, yeah, trauma. So we're releasing this though. What has happened to us? Nice. Past energy, ace of swords, whereas in the past, maybe we didn't know what to do. Maybe we didn't have enough information to make this judgment call that somebody had been sneaky or to, to, to say that somebody had been sneaky, like to be able to do that. Um, yeah, I think we did our research or we know for sure that we were able to do that <laughs> to accuse somebody here because we had some kind of facts or something to back up so the now moment for libra now moment for libra five of pentacle energy it feels like it's in the reverse it feels because everything else is kind of letting go look see ten of swords in the reverse with divorce certificate down there you're letting go of something and you're getting away from a situation or a person you're ending it and it doesn't matter if you you know, are still wanting to be with somebody, that what matters is that you can look at what you had as gone because something new and better needs to start. And this is coming out of the energy of being uh, temporarily uh, burdened by some kind of worry, whether it be about money or being left out in the cold. You know, as you see the, the lady with the wedding dress on, like looking in the mirror, it looks really sad. Yeah, so Five of Pentacles in the reverse. The near future energy here. Near future energy. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. So getting your information. I, I look at the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords very close together. They seem very close together. It seems like investigation, doing an investigation, doing your own investigation. Um, this could possibly be representing a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or, you know, having to have a hard conversation because other people are talking. 
right? Probably minding their uh, everybody else's business instead of their own and causing problems. But you know, whatever. This is you doing your um, you doing your research and you doing you, you doing you. Stick to you doing you. Fix that. We all fix that first. <laughs> And then, and then we really don't want to talk about anybody. Just have compassion. All right. How do you feel? How do you feel? Nine of Wands. Oh, you're feeling like quitting something. No, you feel like giving up for just a minute, taking a break, stepping out. Maybe you need a retreat. You know, sometimes the Eight of Cups is like... This person just needs to, like, bags packed right now. They got to get away because um, they're too stressed. So this looks like a bunch of stress piling up. You may need somebody. You may want to ask somebody to help you out so that you could maybe go on, I don't know, get away somewhere. It seems like maybe somebody was overindulgent. No, I don't think it was you. I don't know. Looks like somebody messed up here with you and i don't know if you've got i mean if these kids are like if you have kids too these are it looks like arguing siblings and a mom that's absolutely <laughs> tired with her hand on her head like oh gosh okay in the environment in the environment libra what's going on goodness 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 crap going on thanks for getting it out of the way whatever this is king of wands knight of swords you are changing stuff up now look sometimes the king of wands with the knight of swords would mean there's something that might be a good catch for you if you are Thinking, like if you're single and you're thinking of asking somebody out right now would be that time to do it before someone leaves. I don't know. That's just a main message for someone here. Um, Knight of Swords is change. It is um, deliberate change. And the King of Wands is uh, regarding something that you're building or regarding what you're building. Now, Knight of Swords could be associated with Gemini. Um King of Wands associates with Leo. So that might be in your surrounding environment. Maybe. I have, um, yeah, you feeling just really burned, like almost burned out, close to burnout. Really, really tired. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, haven't had enough coffee. That's what it is. Three of Pentacles in the reverse is um, doing something. Well, okay, so this might be a fear of doing something completely on your own. Or this might be a fear of doing something that you're not familiar with. Something that you have never been taught. Okay, so this could be about learning and needing to get training. That's fine. That's, that's exactly what that could be indicating needing training for something are you willing to learn are you willing to learn whose was that was that oh i can't remember if that was maybe that was what i was going to title yours That's, um, i don't know i just deleted it i figure it wasn't your message if it didn't get out to you temperance oh, i love the little angel on this card don't you the little angel on the um refrigerator how adorable it looks like my dentist got it okay so temperance um this is about divine timing this is about maybe this family didn't think that they would actually uh, be working together without arguing so maybe this is like hot and cold mixing together um doing all right though it feels like there is definitely an angel that is looking over this family for sure and making um everything everything will happen in divine timing something is growing here and it and it is about divine timing yes your angels are helping you um when the timing is right when the timing is right something will unfold for you 
Yeah. Right now, it feels like I don't know why you feel like you can't manifest. There's that means usually when you feel stuck, guys, that usually means there's something that you have to learn or realize in order to um, start moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Page of Pentacle in the reverse. You're dealing with someone from the past. Um, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Sagittarian energy, Cancer energy, not present. Feeling like it's not going anywhere. But look, then you have the Strength card and the Eight of Pentacles. So it's like all these problems and issues... But once you find out, there's some kind of big lesson to learn. Once you find that, it's it's like all about your pride here. It's all about the pack, the family. It's all about working things out. And it's about love. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Okay. So I feel like this is the hard stuff right here. These cards, this is the hard stuff. Getting through it. Something that you'll do. So I'm not really worried about you getting through something or not. Um. Let's pull another card for you or some more cards. Okay, so Seth's going to let, it's going to do this a little special here, a little special. Or we can, you know what, we can pull more cards. That's fine. But, um, let's see. I want to pull, I want to pull some tarot, um, to clarify. So, let's see what tarot is going to clarify for you for this three of swords in the reverse. Okay, it's somebody from your past. It's someone from your past Knight of Wands energy. Um, if It may be a Leo, Aries, Sag, but usually this is just representing somebody that's from your past. Um, that, that, yeah, maybe that's the energy of, gosh, uh, we got to get away from always bringing up what this person did wrong. Because it's something being in the past. What's the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for? Ooh, the Queen of Swords in the reverse didn't have enough information or focus or focus here. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom, upright. So time for you to be listened to. Um, time for you to find the truth. Time for you to discover the truth. What else about this uh, Page of Swords now going into this future energy? What's up with the Page of Swords? I do think it's about, like, something getting, getting along, but we're going to have to release um, previous judgments. We're going to have to actually forgive if we do forgive. You know what I mean? So, justice coming in here. Your card, Libra, giving you the truth. So, truth is coming in for sure. You're going to have clarity on a situation that will help you move forward and past things. That will help you settle things. All right, uh, four of wands on the bottom, celebration, fun, um, family, things like that. All right, so for Libra, let's close out with the um, intuitive life coaching oracle. Let's get something from it. These are such big cards, I can barely, <laughs> I can barely shuffle them. There's one. Let's see. Two. I'm going to pull it like this. Three. Four. Five. Five for change. It's two five for change. All right. 24. Authentic self expression, which is six for harmony. Be true to who you really are, and your life will change in the most amazing ways. Be true to who you are, and your life will change in the most amazing ways. Let's put that right there. Soulmate energy. Hmm. 76. This relationship is a match made in heaven. 76. 13, 4, about your stability. 51, you're an empath. No big surprise. <laughs> 6, empath, you may be confusing other people's energy with your own. True. 
And five, you are awakening. You are no longer letting people dictate and run your life for you. And so becoming aware of manipulation and um, stopping by speaking up, stopping manipulation. It says your soul is guiding you to stand in your light and speak your truth. Yep. Stand in your light and speak your truth. So speak up, they say. Speak up. All right, let's do a fortune cookie and close this out. For Libra, and there's Sagittarius big time in your um, Sagittarius, Taurus. Those energies are really, really big, especially Sagittarius. Perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. And I've got major life change. This is a good one. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Trouble-free existence. I like that. All right. Thanks, guys. Sending you light and love. I hope you um, enjoyed this, and I hope that you get it in time today. Thanks. Bye.